My name is Professor Esther Awazi Mvuladu. We're here today because of you. And we're here because you're special. We were once young girls like you. We understand what you go through. We've gone through it. And that is the reason why we are here. And then we have with us Chief Ezekiel. Chief Ezekiel is also a father and he's here on behalf of JSP. They are the brain behind why we are here. Give him a round of applause. As you've heard, my name is Chief Ezekiel Ayuba Kuje. I'm here to represent the president of GSP. Some of you will be wondering what is uh, GSP, isn't it? Is Gifted Sensitivity Professionals Forum. Say it, let me hear you. Gifted Sensitivity Professionals Forum. I'll be reading the speech of the president. GSP Forum, part a girl initiative program, opening speech. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, faculties member, and most importantly, our talented young female students. On behalf of GSP Forum, I am honored to briefly deliver a speech on the well-being and the future of our young girls. In particular, the menstruation hygiene and its profound impact on education for girls. Menstruation is a natural biological process, yet it remains shrouded in stigma, misconceptions, and shame. This should not be the case, and it is our collective responsibility to change this narrative and empower our girls to thrive academically and personally. Hence, why GSP Forum is embarking on this initiative. For many girls in secondary school, the onset of menstruation becomes a monthly challenge that can disrupt their education. Without access to affordable and reliable menstrual hygiene products, adequate and sanit sanitation facilities, and proper knowledge about menstruation, our young girls often face significant barrier to attending school regularly and participating fully in their uh, education. Studies have shown that girls can miss up to 20% of their school days due to menstruation uh, related issue. This uh, absenteeism leads to gap in learning, lower academic uh, performances, and in some cases, dropping out of school altogether. This is not just a loss for the girls, it is a loss for their families, the communities, and our society as a whole. To address this, GSP Forum part a girl initiative program in conjunction with Beacon of Hope initiative is designed to break down these barriers and create a support, uh, supportive environment for our girls by providing free menstrual hygiene products. We ensure that not, no girl has to miss uh, school because of her period. This initiative focuses on education, dispelling myth, providing accurate information about uh, menstrual health, and fostering our environment for openness and uh, support. Beyond the physical provisions, we are cultivating a culture of empathy and understanding. When girls attend school regularly, they are more likely to complete their education, pursue higher education, and enter the workforce. They gain the knowledge 
and skills needed to lift themselves and their families out of poverty. And they become role model for future generations. In conclusion, by investing in menstrual hygiene pro uh, program, we are not only addressing a critical health need, but also paving the way for brighter, more equitable future. We are ensuring that every girl here has the opportunity to reach her full potential and to dream big and to achieve her goal without being held back by something or natural as natural as menstruation together let us commit to breaking the silence ending the stigma and supporting our girls in their journey towards education and empowerment thank you and congratulations to beneficiaries of this program this speech is from engineer Mark Nweglu at GSP Forum on the 10th of June, 2024. Thank you and God bless you. My name is Ashley Laurie, the founder of Pad Up Africa. I'm excited to be in GSS Aguam Mayo in Garako. Now, it is a great privilege to incite um, and instill uh, information about menstrual hygiene and um, the need to have this information across both gender, understanding that having accessibility to good menstrual hygiene product and good menstrual hygiene um, um, information, it shouldn't be restricted to just the female gender, it should be set across to all genders. This is why we have come to this school with Beckham of Hope Initiative and JSP to distribute reusable sanitary pad that would last for two years and to also get a need assessment for good hygiene practice and good toilet and running water. My name is Beatrice Elizabeth. During my menstruation, I will feel stomach pain all over the day. Except they give me some drugs or they take me to the hospital and put some drips for me before the stomach pain will not calm down. And if I'm facing this uh, period, it will be rushing for me. I can't stay comfort comfortable. I'm by name Ali Dokas. During my messes, I'll be feeling stomach pain. I will, I will not feel free. Sometimes I don't used to come to school. I'm happy that the school authority is here. I'm happy that the area office is here. Do we have bathrooms here where the girls can change during their messes? because that is part of menstrual hygiene management. We should have a toilet. We should have a place for girls where they can go and change when they are on their monthly period. It should not stop them from coming to school. We have come here with so many partners that will present to you what we have brought that will help to keep you in school while you are having your menses. So I want to show you a sample of what is in this park. Isn't this park beautiful? So inside this beautiful park, which we have provided so that when you go home, anytime you use it, by the end of your menstruation, you clean up everything, put it in this park and keep it aside. We have this beautiful park. This is the part. It is called reusable card. So let's do the counting together. One, two, three, four, five. We're very grateful to uh, Beacon of Hope Initiative. And we're grateful also to GSP forum okay for this wonderful gift that they have given this great step that they took the investment that they have made so that in the next two years you will not have to spend money on menstruation you're going to have this product free of charge <laughs> i would like to make this presentation 
on behalf of um, Beacon of Hope Initiative, JSP Forum, the brain behind this uh, very occasion, would like to present it to the principal of the school. We pray and hope that this will be a turning point um, for these girls, for this school, and even for the future generation of uh, students that will come in. And of course, we believe that this should also transcend to the community. And we're also praying and hoping that with what we have initiated today, that we're going to have good-spirited individuals who will also take up the challenge and um, do much more than what uh, JSP Forum and Beacon of Hope has done today. Thank you very much. I gain how to take care of myself when I'm menstruating. I gain many things when I'm menstruating, even if I am, maybe if I'm seeing it, if I come to school, I will amend how I will sit in a class. I will take care of myself. When I go home, I will amend my weight and wash myself. So thank you, thank you. We appreciate you for that. Has told me how to take care of myself and given me some gifts to use it for two years. So I'm appreciating for that. The girls, you are fortunate to be taught all these things and to have it because during our own time, we did not know anything about this. So you have to be proud of yourself being a woman. Don't allow anybody to molest you. In the world entirely, we are thinking that they not uh, even know some uh, one school like this. So we're really very happy because they recognize Angoma, you're special. Because not every school will get this thing. My name is Honorable Gloria David Afiku, the national treasurer, EGDA Women's Wing. I'm overwhelmed to see you people. I'm so glad. You people are wonderful. My name is Emanuela. I want to talk on behalf of we the girls, we really appreciate for all you have done to us. We have no more thing to say, but the only thing to say is we are very grateful. And wherever you are going, may the Lord take you to your various destination. I, as a person, I'm highly grateful to Almighty God because this happened during my time in the school here. We are glad. We are happy. We are fortunate. There are many big schools around supposed to benefit from this, but you are choosing. The school lack the menstrual hygiene management materials. And we can't provide for ourselves because, you know, financially we are down. Really, everything you see being provided here today is through the meager resources from the the Pigeon farm that make up this community. Take our gratitude, our thanks to <laughs> engineer Mark in Wungulu, the GSP and the other team that found or that come for this program. I say, as you come, your Almighty God that brought you here safely and sound will take you home safely and sound. Thank you so much for all that you have done your time, your money, and everything. May God bless all of you and bless abundantly in Jesus' name. So today, we are putting our forces together to call on the government because you can't leave this to the CBOs or the NGOs. It should be something that we have to incorporate and ensure that schools are not left fallow like this because a lot of girls miss out of their education while in menstruation, and it shouldn't be that. A girl child ought to not be suffering from a natural phenomenon such as menstruation. Therefore, let's make this an advocacy to ensure that it is a period-friendly Nigeria, not just a period-friendly world. And I hope that this is not just one part of it, 
moving forward. There should be an advocacy that would enable us to teach the women in the community to produce their reusable sanitary pads so they can impact the children in school and also have some to keep for, to keep for themselves. We're hoping that this message does not die in this premises. It's taken all up and policies are being implemented to ensure the need for a girl child in school during menstruation. Yeah.